the nice car you got. Hi, thanks. You're under arrest for criminal speed. I want you to understand that. Do you understand that right now? Yes. Okay. Because I, I don't want you to think that you're free to go because you're not. Okay? Want to yeah, make sure that we're understand. All right, I don't... Just trying to get home. Just trying to get for home. Lunch. You are... For lunch. Oh, so you're, you're just driving for food. So you're driving at a criminal amount of speed, passing I'm cars sorry, at I'm almost sorry. tripled... No, you're sorry that you got caught. That's the difference. If you're truly sorry, you just wouldn't have done it, and you would have obeyed the speed limit instead of going at more than double the posted speed limit. The speed limit on this road is 50 miles an hour. I locked you in at 90 before you passed those two cars. Okay. Okay? I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. So you might notice that this is the first uh, of our videos where I'm in a green uniform. Uh, all that was was a change within the Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit policy. Uh, where all of the other specialty units within the sheriff's office were in green and the traffic unit was the only one that was still in tan and green. Uh, so we had made a hard date where the entire unit was going to switch and this was the first day that Sam rode along with me where I was in my new uniform. Uh, so now we just match, you know, the canine guys, the interdiction guys, the anti-smuggling guys, search and rescue, range, um, all of the other specialty units and traffic are now all in green. Okay, I want you to understand all of that. Okay, I'm gonna decide whether I book you into jail and I tow this car and impound it or not okay, for your reckless driving. I'm sorry, sir. Okay, well, you're sorry. Again, you're sorry because you got caught. You're sorry because I'm in this car holding you accountable. And if I wasn't in this car, I never would have caught you because your speeds are so far in excess of the posted speed limit. And also, I have to really good you to be honest. I've been constipated all day. Well, yeah. pretty sure the definition of constipated is that you can't go, which is perfect. That'll give you yeah. some more time. The reason that I drive this this car, uh, I know people are like, oh, you drive a sports car. Um, my speed in trying to catch up to him was well into the triple digits, um, which at, when a car is traveling at 100 miles an hour, you have to travel at those those high speeds. And that's why uh, this car was bought. This car was bought and paid for uh, through funds obtained by the governor's office of highway safety. Um, it's on a very specific grant for aggressive driving and looking for guys like this. The car that I drive is a 2019 Dodge Charger. It's the RT model. It's not a Hellcat. Um, it's not the 392, although I'm, I'm looking to try to get into one of those. Um, this vehicle was purchased on a grant. Uh, so we were giving grant money by the state of Arizona specifically to find a car used primarily for aggressive driving enforcement. Uh, so we wanted something that looked like a sports car. Um, guys from the unit went to a Dodge dealership. They found this car on the lot and purchased it using that grant money. And then it was subsequently outfitted uh, for what we needed, light, siren, computer, radio, all that stuff. Um, so it's just a regular RT, uh, nothing, nothing special about it. And, um, and that's what I drive to catch aggressive drivers. So you are 21? I'm 19, I'm 19 about to turn 20 this week. Uh, this week. About to turn this 20, okay, week. lots of tears. This week. Well, this is gonna hurt. well, some that's and that's a that's a very appropriate reason to have some tears rolling down your face is because you realize that there's repercussions for this. So your citation for your 90 and a 50 and all of those lane changes that you made around cars without signaling and really sharp into one lane, sharp into other. That's literally the definition of reckless driving. It is. And that's what your citation is for. Reckless driving is one of the statutes in Arizona that I don't write a lot. Um, it is, it's, in order to, to see it and to, to be able to articulate that this driving was reckless and endangered others, uh, you just don't see it a whole lot. Sometimes you see little portions of it, um, but in this particular guy, he's up in front of me on a two lane road um, and I see him really aggressively passing cars. So I get up to him and we, I catch him kind of cutting cars off as he's changing lanes, trying to move through traffic as traffic's coming in the opposite way. So uh, I was able to articulate it and it obviously endangered other people. Um, and that's really the, the threshold that I'm looking for is, is something really overtly that, that endangers other people when I write this. Um, so he was, obviously he was apologetic when I, when I caught him. Um, he was issued a citation and released. I never heard another thing after this. So I think he probably just went to the court and, uh, and pled guilty to it since he admitted even there, uh, you know, person to person, that 
that he had been driving kind of aggressively. So um, that's, that's why and how this happened. Um, it kind of happened so fast that Sam couldn't get the GoPro on. So we didn't really get his, his movements as much as just me trying to catch up to him and close that distance because he was, he was really hauling. So that is a criminal offense. Just like I told you, you're under arrest. You're gonna have to go and talk to the judge here in Casa Grande. You're gonna have to tell them, hey, this is why, this is why I thought that driving fast to lunch was a good idea. Well, I, I I know that, um, and now you also know that. But I want you to understand that the severity of this. Okay, this is a criminal offense. It's a class two misdemeanor. I'm well within my right to take you to jail. Okay, but you've been respectful. You have no previous driving history with the Pinal County Sheriff's Office in any way. You've never been stopped before. So maybe I just caught you on a bad day, and this will be a reminder to be a better driver. Yeah, I've got. I've I've been having a bunch of things run through my head. I've been helping my sister with her car, work. Uh, I've got these speakers I'm trying to sell for my house, uh, a bunch of other things. I've I can see how selling speakers makes you drive almost 100 miles an hour. No, it's... I'm just... I'm not thinking straight. Okay. Okay. Well, what you do is just sign right down here. By signing, you're not admitting any guilt. All you're saying is that you promise to appear. I know, I got that. If I don't sign, then I'm definitely going to jail, right? That is absolutely correct. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is. All you're saying is that you promised to, to go there and talk yeah, to the yeah, judge, and if you don't sign it, what you're saying is that you're not going to go, and then I make sure that you go. Okay? Yeah. Do you have any idea how much the ticket car is going to be? You know what? I don't because the sheriff's office doesn't deal with money at all. All that stuff all goes through the court. Um, you'll talk to the prosecutor, which is the lawyer for the state, and just say, hey, look, you know, I, I had speakers to sell. I was on my way home. I wasn't thinking. I uh, was driving a little crazy. Um, and see see what they'll do if they'll work with you or not. Okay? Any other questions I can answer for you before I kick you loose? Nothing besides thank you for your service, man. No, it's my pleasure, man. Thank you for being cool. Just make make better decisions, okay? Because you have to understand that, that the repercussions for decisions that you make go far past just the action. Yeah, I know. All right? All right. Appreciate you being cool, man. Thank you so much. Get home. Have some lunch. Take a good poop. Be good. In trying to appease the YouTube gods, I'm going to ask you to do three things. One, subscribe to this channel. Let me know that you like it. Smash that like button and also leave a comment. Just say something. The YouTube gods want to know what you think about it and so do I. So if you could do that, it'd help me out. How do I see a driver's license, please? Uh, I don't have my ID on me. Oh, do you have a driver's license at all? No. Okay. So do you have anything on you that says who you are? I have a picture on my phone. I'll take it. It's amazing how many people that, that we deal with and we as in law enforcement, this isn't just a Frank thing or a Pinal County thing. But we run into people with their pictures of their license on their phone. Um, that doesn't meet the requirement for the state of Arizona. Um, when it says you have to carry your license, it says you have to carry your license, not a picture of your license on your phone. So um, all the people that, that I dealt with here that didn't have actual physical licenses with them along with everything else also got a failure to have a driver's license and possession citation um carry your license like it's carry it it's that's the easiest way i could say it is uh m make it easier for everyone all right well i'm deputy slope i work for the pinal county sheriff's office traffic unit a couple different reasons i stopped you one you're 22 miles an hour above the speed limit two all of the window tint in your vehicle is illegal you can't have a tinted windshield makes it easy oh So, the, so there isn't there isn't any sort of stipulation in Arizona law that says, hey, if I drive someone else's car, it's okay. So, so it says that your country of birth is Mexico. Did you ever have a driver's license in Mexico? No. If you would have handed me, a, even if it was expired, a valid license or a expired license from any other country, I'm totally good with that, because Arizona simply requires that you have been issued a license in any jurisdiction. And my interpretation is that. If, it's, if it was issued in Mexico, that's another jurisdiction, and I'm good with it. That um, I will take that as a license, and you're good. But when he says, no, I never had a license in Mexico. No, I've never had a license in the United States. I've never had a license ever. Well, that's when we're going to tow your car, and we're going to impound it for 20 days, because you have no privilege to drive in the state of Arizona. Top 16. I'm like, okay. Can you start me at the next toe on rotation. Call someone to come here and pick you up, okay? 
typically we stop someone um, if they don't have their license with them, but I could verify that they've had a license before, ever been issued one, we're not towing cars. Um, in this particular instance, he has never been issued a driver's license from any jurisdiction. We spend the majority of the time in Santan Valley. Santan Valley is the, the largest um, unincorporated city in the state of Arizona, um, and it's the full responsibility of the Pinal County Sheriff's Office. Out here, Casa Grande Police Department has their own police department. Um, the city of Maricopa has their own police department. But in the areas between those two cities is also the responsibility of the Pinal County Sheriff's Office. So we're out here today um, kind of showing that, that there's enforcement to be done. Uh, Maricopa Casa Grande Highway is a, um, the main road. It's a speedway. It's posted as 50 miles an hour. Um, cars go really fast like this guy. Uh, and then you stop someone for speed an equipment violation and end up with a no license and, and everything else. We're going to end up towing his car. See your driver's license. I don't got it on me right now, sir. You have no ID. You have nothing on you. No. So how am I supposed to know who you are when you're traveling at a criminal amount of speed? See any problem in that? Yeah. Are you that sheriff that I'd be coming out on Facebook? I'd be that sheriff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You had the blue charger, huh? I used to, yeah. yeah. He gave me his information. Uh, when I checked him, he comes back with a, um, it's called a post adjudication warrant. And all that means is that he has uh, gone through a case. Uh, his case has to do with some sort of, looks like a drug offense. Um, and he didn't do whatever he needed to do um, to take care of his stuff with the court. So the court issued a warrant. He doesn't have a driver's license. We have seen um, before where I've, I've, we've gotten feedback, well, why don't you tow that car? Why don't you impound that car? And the reason for that is if you had ever been issued a driver's license ever in any jurisdiction, uh, we can't impound your car. He's gonna go to jail and his car is gonna go to car jail. Hop on out. Like there we go, turn around, put your over there. Like that, sir. Now I could have taken him or had him taken to the Pinal County Jail where he would have been booked in and just held for Coolidge PD. But instead, Coolidge, City of Coolidge said, hey man, we'll take him, it's our warrant. So he was transported straight to the City of Coolidge. So he's got the deputy that transported him for me, um, has his citation, and my bad guy gives him over to Coolidge PD, and then Coolidge PD does whatever they do internally since he had an outstanding warrant from their jurisdiction. So he ended up with a citation from the Pinal County Sheriff's Office and was transported to the Coolidge Police Department uh, to handle his warrant. So he ended up meeting meeting cops from all different jurisdictions that day. Well, oh, you have an outstanding warrant for your oh, arrest. Oh, no, I paid it right there. Look, you can see right there the nope. the paper right there, sir. I promise you. The city of city of Coolidge says that they want you, so yeah. you are going to go there. No, I know they want me. Here. They want you. Yeah. You're wanted. It's good to be wanted, man. All right, you got anything in here? You got a little tweaker torch. No. You just have smoking that's weed. That's <laughs> You were doing a criminal amount of speed. You don't have any sort of paperwork. That guy was chasing me. Your your plates are suspended. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. So all, all of the things. You have all the all the problems here. So, but one of the big ones is you don't have a driver's license. So you should never ever be in the driver's seat of a car ever. Because it's a privilege. It's not a right. You don't have a right to drive. It's a privilege. Well, you haven't earned that privilege. I know it's a your generation kind of has this entitlement thing where you're like, I got a car, I could drive. But that's, that's not the way that the law looks at it. All right, well, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic How Unit. Doing? Hey, Good, man. You're, all, you're on the YouTube thing, huh? That's me, man. That's, that's me. me. Yeah, I see you. You know what I haven't done a video yet? Huh? Is why not to litter on the roadways in Santan Valley like oh, you just did. You just did a cigarette? Actually, yeah, man, no, you can't, just be, you can't just be taking your cancer sticks and flicking yeah. them out the window. You can't be littering. Anything that comes out your window. That's it, man. Anything. Man, you put a bottle in here, you know, or stop smoking. It's good. Well, it's good for your health. Do you have any idea why I'm going to stop you today? I'm not going too fast. No. Did you notice that you were well over this white line here as you were driving? Is that against the law? Well, yes, because you have to maintain. You have to drive in your lane. Oh. And on this side is where like bikes are and pedestrians. Right. You were like that from pretty far down on the other side of the bridge, all the way up. And finally, I was like, I need to make sure that. You know, you're not impaired or anything because... No, not at all, sir. I just, um, like I said, I'm just nervous. So you're uh, 25 miles an hour above the posted speed limit. I wasn't even paying attention. I'm sorry, sir. Yeah. I was on my way, I'm on my way to pick up my daughter from school. Yeah, you're oh, all right. I remember this guy. May I see registration, current proof insurance also, please? 
Yeah. Let's begin to put the register, physical registration in the car. Okay, you don't have that? I, it's, it's at home on my own. Okay. All right, hang tight for me. Where did the sticker that's on your license plate come from? It's from my motorcycle. I have a Harley. One of the great things about the behind the scenes um, of us doing this is you get these little nuances that don't end up on the video. So having a second set of eyes in the car sometimes is really helpful. Um, so I call this traffic stop out. My initial traffic stop was for the criminal speed offense. Um, so I, I call the plate out using the radio to PCSO communications, and then I go up and contact the vehicle. Well, communications comes back and says, hey, that plate's expired. Well, I didn't hear that, but Sam is sitting in the car and Sam heard it. And Sam looks at the plate and the plate has a 24 expiration on it. And the plate came back as being expired in 23. Well, I didn't, I didn't pick up on that. And when I come and get back in the car, Sam's like, hey, dispatch said that that plate was expired. So then I looked at my, my computer terminal confirmed that the plate was expired and that there was a, a tab on the plate that said 24 and with an expiration of 23. So I went back up and that's what, what created that contact with the subject when I said, hey, where's that plate come from? You know, where's the, where's the tab on that plate? And when he admitted, hey, that's supposed to be on my Harley. Um, why you would do that, I have no idea, but that meets the requirement for Arizona law for knowingly um, displaying fictitious registration. So the culpable mental state of knowingly is an important part of that crime. Then in order for me to cite him with that, I had to know that he did it on purpose, which obviously he did. No. Okay. I'll be back. Didn't even know what to say. Just shot. Can you take that, uh, turn your truck off for me, please? Thanks. Nice. Because I don't want you backing up over me when I remove your plate. Why are you removing my plate? Because it's, it's a fictitious registration. That tab does not belong on this plate. Well, just take it, it, you can take the tab by law, but not the We'll say Sam, in this video, blurred out the plate that I had taken. Um, it was a custom plate, or some people call it a vanity plate for the state of Arizona. Um, and I think the, the driver had like an emotional attachment to that plate, and that's why he didn't want me to take it. Is it wasn't because I was taking his plate, it was because he was attached to that specific plate. Um, but it's, it's evidence in a criminal offense, so I took it, um, I photographed it, uploaded the photographs into our system, and then physically impounded that plate into evidence so that in case during trial the judge wanted to see the actual physical license plate and see that the tab didn't match the plate, um, I could produce that um, for the judge to, if he wanted to actually touch it. Um, so that's why I, I had to take it is because it was evidence, but uh, man, he sure didn't like it. Officer, the plate is registered to the car. That is correct, but the tabs on the plate are fictitious. And being it fictitious makes it a criminal offense. No, and the fact that my, it's- I have my old register, that's not fictitious. What are you talking about? That tag is registered to this car, to this no, truck. No, the, the plate is. The plate is, that's yeah. what I'm saying. So you can take the tag, but not, I mean, the, uh, the, the sticker, nope. but not the plate. Well, this entire thing is evidence of a criminal offense of displaying fictitious registration. Okay. So it's, it is, because it is evidence in a criminal offense, that's, that's, what, the, okay. that's what the delineation is. Okay, so it's criminal. Okay. Yes, sir. I don't know what's so hard to understand about. So you can't take the tab off of a motorcycle that you own and put it on the registration plate for the Dodge that you own and then drive around and think, one, that that's okay, and two, then be mad at me when I take the plate that you have knowingly applied a fictitious tab to and then give me an attitude about it. No, I'm the bad guy. So, just knowledge for those of you out in the internet. Don't um, do that. That is a criminal offense in the state of Arizona, to which I'm now going to cite him with because he needs it. He Second one is for knowingly it. displaying a fictitious plate, simply meaning that you knew that the tab on your license plate was supposed to go on a motorcycle with two wheels. You no, put actually, it onto a car actually, with yeah, four wheels. It belongs to my wife. That belongs to my wife. So.
Okay. Well, wh whatever it is, it doesn't belong on this truck. Well, can we agree on that? Meet in the middle ground? Okay. So, um, so knowingly displaying fictitious plates, also a criminal offense, and then no current registration. because you're The driver of this Dodge um, went in on his court date that I gave him on that citation, pled not guilty. Um, we then went to trial. So we went to a bench trial where it was the justice of the peace and then the county attorney and me. So I went in and, and the, the driver. Um, so I went up, I gave my testimony in court in front of the judge. Um, so it was a, it was a full blown trial, all of the, all of the formalities of trial. And, uh, the county attorney represented me as the lawyer for the state and me as the, um, you know, the, the state's witness. And then he represented himself, um, cross-referencing me, uh, on there. He had a, a pretty extensive background, um, legal background. So he knew what he was talking about. Super nice guy, just like he was polite during my stop. He was polite during the trial. Um, so I gave testimony for the, the entirety of the contact. They used this video, uh, that Sam had taken as evidence for the state. And ultimately, the judge sided with the state on all of the charges uh, for the display, knowingly displaying fictitious registration and then the criminal speed. Um, so this was one of the cases that started here on Fridays with Frank and then actually went to a actual bench trial. And um, I guess my, my testimony and Sam's video won it. Registration that actually in, expired in uh, July 23 not July of 24 like the tab on the license plate said.